I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. No introductions, boys. We need to move out. We need to go to the bins. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, all right. You heard the man earlier, we're already late. Let's just uh, cut to the chase and go straight to the bins. How about that? All right, boys and girls, let's get it. We're gonna start from the back. Today's gonna be a more laid back, relaxed, not too worried about what you find, what you don't find today. Oh, here we go. Absolutely beat the hell up, but a game is a game, sir. Hurting for a squirting. Hey. G.I. Joe. Maybe there are more. G.I. Yes. Or G.I. No. I've also been picking up like older books. Look at this. 1909. That's a five. It says 1905. I'm tripping. Looks like jewelry. Jerry. Oh, Teddy Ruxpin. But uh, a newer version, unfortunately. Oh, Maglite. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we here? Why are we back at my place? Well, easy. My local bins stink. I mean, not to be rude, but it's like every time you go there, it's either 50-50, which means all the stuff that you see, the whole building is from yesterday. And within an hour, they change out one whole side, right? And then that's it. They change out that whole side, then it's lunch, then you gotta wait three hours, and it's just a waiting game. You're probably waiting at the bins for four hours and digging for like maybe three, which is kind of unfortunate because it's like I feel like I'm spoiled with the other bin in my city next to me. It's like they, they pump them out all day long man, it just stinks because it's like, it was so good. You know what I mean? Like, like they did such a good job and I don't know what's happening. But yeah, um, this is the stuff that I got at the bins. It's all this little area right here. You can ignore the this stuff in the back besides that drink made I did get that at the bins so I'll start here on this side uh, it, the pile doesn't look that big um, I didn't really get too much stuff but uh, it was good quality stuff that's for sure actually we have more stuff over here I forgot for gaming wise I got these three uh, Starcraft uh, 2 cups uh, they say 2013 on it uh, I thought Starcraft 2 was an old game but that might be a new version of it and then I picked up these games I got Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. I got Halo 3, Dishonored, Sing It, Skyrim, PGR, uh, Borderlands a sequel, and Diablo 3. But it's uh, the Reaper of Souls Ultimate Edition, which I cannot wait to play this. I love Diablo 3. I never finished it, so this is my chance. I got this awesome Play School cassette player. It does work. Over here, we got a Harry Potter puzzle. It is sealed, so that's an easy flip. I got a Figment plush. This is the second one I've ever found. Glad to find it. Uh, Ripstick, this is the full length one. A 1995 Hot Potato, Mr. Potato Head. A very vintage Mickey Mouse. I got a Bomba, Bom Bomb, Bo Bomb, Bo I can never remember how to say his name. Uh, plush, very big. Uh, I got this drink mate, this James Dean sign. Absolutely love it, it's awesome, man. I got these night vision goggles by Jack Specific. Jack Pacific, not Jack Specific, my bad. <laughs> Uh, I got these pieces to um, uh, G.I. Joe. These are from the 80s. I got this one and then this one. This looks like it's from the uh, the Cobra Hiss tank, but I'm not sure. I got this from, uh, it's Bandai, Bandai, 1998. Uh, it looks Power Rangers for sure. If not Power Rangers, then I'm not sure what. I got the baby from the dinosaurs. I got this awesome A&W clock. It needs to be fixed. His legs are right there. They kind of wobble back and forth. 
I got Captain America, little Marvel figure. I got the top half of a G.I. Joe, which parts are not. Somebody's going to want that. Maybe for the arms, maybe for the head. I got a uh, new bright battery charger. And then I got this awesome antique marks train mat. Very cool. It's broken there, broken here, but somebody's going to want it. Then I got these uh, Topps baseball cards, which I'll actually be going through these, make sure there's no heavy hitters in here. I'm just learning about baseball cards right now, and I'm not that great at it. Uh, some of these are open, by the way, so I'm not sure if they just went through it to check the cards out and then tossed them back. Maybe didn't find anything. Actually, they're all opened, I think, which is fine, because whenever they open them, maybe in the 90s, there's probably nothing good in them. There might be something now. Then I got a, a framed Michael Jordan card. I'm going to open this and see what year this is because some of his cards are going for a little bit, so I might as well. Uh, I got a ton of airsoft guns, like professional airsoft guns. They're all like damaged or missing parts or whatever, but throw it on eBay as a lot. Yeah, this will uh, this will go up in value there. And then I got a Thompson bunch of pistols they're all by hk so i hear that's a good brand so we'll go from there uh some of these mags man you can see that they have a co2 cartridge in there so imagine getting shot with an airsoft gun with a co2 cartridge in that's nuts got this too not really sure what this is looks like a paintball gun or like a nerf gun modified into a paintball gun got an ak definitely jacked up it's got a lot of broken parts but hey somebody's gonna want these for parts man uh, I got a bunch of chargers for them. I knew it was the chargers only because I saw the uh, adapters on the back. These fit those perfectly, so I'd assume. I got a MK5. Is that what these called? I can't remember. It's a submachine gun. Uh, standard pistol. Another heavy magazine. Like, I mean, this weighs at least five, five pounds, I, I would say at least. And then another AK. And this one's metal. And man, it's, it's it's heavy. I got some uh, some grass feed here. That's, that's really cool. It's gonna help for the yard. More filters for my water filter. They are sealed. Got a little drum pedal. Got a bunch of RIT. These are gonna be good for when I do uh, tie dye. Uh, some sealed flash cameras, always good. People like that retro look. And then I just got some more resale stuff. Nothing really crazy, nothing too surprising, but I mean, it's all really good quality stuff. I definitely made my time back for the drive that it took to get there. And then, oh man, I killed it with clothes, man. Killed it with clothes. Got these really like mint Pokemon, uh, it's like a blanket set. Uh, another girl picked up the the fitted sheet version of that, so I couldn't have, couldn't have got it. But anyways, uh, check this out. I got a bunch of Harley tanks, like some old, some new. Like this Harley Davidson, then like some Austin rallies, Easy Riders, Harley Davidson, Austin rallies, more Harley Davidson. Look at these, all Harley Davidson tanks. Absolutely nuts. And then we got some normal Harley Davidson shirts here as well. More Harley Davidson tanks. Dude, it's, oof. And these are rowdy, like, oh my gosh, these are, they're so good. It's got some regular shirts, more tanks, regular shirts, regular shirts. I mean, dude, the list goes on. All Harley Davidson, which for whatever reason, they're doing really well now in the shirt field for vintage. These are all single stitch besides a few of them. Like single stitch, ZZ Top Eliminator, single stitch. This NLU single stitch. This horse crop top shirt says friends on the bottom. This is also single stitch. A Beatles Let It Be shirt, it says 2005. A Belgium Euro France t-shirt, very, very high quality. A Nirvana shirt. This is uh, Sebastian Bach, Angel Down. A single stitch, um, this is like a uh, like a fraternity shirt, but it has the Mad Hatter, like the whole uh, Alice in Wonderland in the back. I love that. A single stitch, it's a shipping company. A Marlboro Country Store single stitch shirt, love this. I sold a Marlboro Store Zippo in the past, and anytime you find Country Store stuff, pick it up, man. A, um, a, okay, I guess a restaurant or a bar uh, in downtown Austin. This is single stitch. 
This is a uh, Fiesta 1993 single stitch art museum shirt. Love that. Oh my gosh, this was a find. Fantasia. Love that. So nice. Uh, Kiss. This is a tour reprint. Then we got a single stitch Spurs uh, sh uh, sports shirt. Love that. And then we have an August Burns Red, which is a band I used to listen to when I was a kid. So, I mean, why not pick it up? Anyways, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, keep on supporting me. Every single like and comment and all that good stuff really helps me put out the next video. Uh, not to mention, if you could support me on my uh, clothing store, my eBay page, if you see something you like, buy it. And let me know, I'll give you a good discount. Maybe anywhere from 10 to 20% off, you know what I mean? Uh, it helps me push stuff out the door, that way I can bring new stuff in. Uh, the more new stuff I bring in, the more videos I can make. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to make the bins videos, only because I think they're gonna get new management at the bins where I'm at, so if I can no longer record there, so be it. I'll make garage sale videos, thrift store videos, flea market videos, I'll keep it going. Mainly because I like to do it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day. Put brass tacks on your shoes and know where to 